The second ground is Dieppe, D-I-E-P-P-E. -E. To complete this ground, it's cross twist, pin, cross twist, twist. So to begin the stitch, I have placed the last pin at the bottom of the plait. In order to keep it in place and secure, I need to close the pin. Let's just do a cloth stitch, cross, twist, cross, which will keep it tight. Go to the next pin, cross, twist, cross. We might as well do them all at one time so you don't get mixed up. Cross, twist, cross. Make sure you tension each one. Pull down the next two, cross, twist, cross. And the last pair. Cross, twist, cross. Now I'd like to begin the actual ground, Dieppe. Just as before, the pinhole is in between the pairs at an angle. I, I am not going to use the outside pair, so I'm going to place two twists on it and place it to the side. Pick up the next two pairs. It's cross, twist, pin, cross, twist, twist. This will make a more square type of ground as compared to the last one. Move them to the side. Pull down the next two pairs, one from each pin. Cross, twist, pin, cross, twist, twist. Move them to the side. Cross, twist, pin. Remember, we're always closing the pin. Cross, twist, twist to close the pin. The next pair. Cross, twist, pin. Cross, twist, twist. The last pair we don't use in this row but we do put two twists on it, so it's not quite so messy as it's moving down. Moving down to the next row, we find the pinhole is on the outside. We need the pin, the pair from the outside, and the pair from the first pin. Cross, twist, pin, in that outside hole. Cross, twist, twist, move them to the side. It's exactly like the torsion ground, but it has an extra twist in it. Complete this section, and when you come down to your next plait, complete the plait. I'll see you at the end of the Dieppe. So now you've done torsion and Dieppe.